Well, well, well. Most industry creators don't own their own cartoon shows or characters. Some production companies are trying to change that. If you want to be a cartoonist, if you want to make anything for television, uh, it is one of the hardest things to keep all your rights, to keep all the rights to, to a show. And a lot of cartoonists, even today, even today, they still don't have ownership of their own shows. And we're going to talk about that right now. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Hello, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell right there so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. Okay? Enjoy. What is up, guys? This is your boy, Andy Matrix. Welcome to Andy RCV, where I talk about anime. Manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. I am a Cartoon Brew, one of my favorite websites for, you know, cartoon news, really. So, you know, growing up, growing up, I, I will, I will Google. I remember I used to go on Google and I would look up the the animator or the creator of Hey Arnold or Nickelodeon shows, and shows like um, like Avatar: The Last Airbender, one of my favorites by um, Michael Dante DiMartino and Brian Kodieski. Apparently, even they, they don't even own all the rights to Avatar, the, the, the Last Airbender. Not completely. Okay? And that sucks. Uh, but now that's that's kind of changing. But let's, let's, let's read a little about, you know, people, you know, creators that don't own their own cartoon shows or characters. So... It says earlier this month, the creator of South Park made headlines when they signed a deal with Viacom CBS worth 900 million. Holy crap. 900 million? That's almost a billion dollars for South Park. It says behind that giant number is a key fact. Trey Parker and Matt Stone have retained a large stake in their property, own 50% of all non TV rights. So in other words, in other words, the uh, the owners of South Park, if you guys watch South Park, they own 50% of all non-TV rights. So that means toys, video games, merchandise, t-shirts, anything that does not have to do with the actual cartoon show, with a TV show, they own, right? But they do not have ownership of the TV show itself. Only the merchandise and everything else that has nothing to do with the TV. With the, with the show it says coverage of the of the mega deal often fa failed to convey just how unusual this arrangement is animation creators who pitch an idea to a production company or broadcast can generally count themselves lucky if they walk away with a with a 10 percent stake yeah and they have a 50 percent stake <laughs> there's a new report a new report by kids screen explains i'm gonna check that out later but there, are, but there are rumblings of change. Production companies in the kids' animation sphere are increasingly trying out new models in which the creators get a bigger stake in, in what they create. Kids Screens has profiled, profiled a, few of these, a few of these here. Here are a few ta key takeaways for the article. It says creators can form their own company production to return. So basically here it's explaining how, how cartoonists, how animators... That come up with original ideas how they can own their own uh creation it says creators can form their own production company to retain control right so it says ridwan moshu team up with two partners to form south african studio pure garbage uh the nigerian artist owns 40 percent of the company and he and he retains 40 percent of all works it produces including garbage boy and trash can which is being produced for Cartoon Network. Oh, wow. Let's give this guy a hand, guys. Woo! I mean, seriously, congratulations. I, I, I gotta give this brother a hand. So, Ridwan, Ridwan Moshu teamed up with two partners. He's from South Africa. He's from South Africa. He's, he's having... He's getting his show on Cartoon Network. All right. I want to congratulate this man. <laughs> and it says, which is being produced in Cartoon Network... Uh, it says Mike this Mike Desen, one of Moshu's business partners, says 
there's a distasteful history of white guys milking the hell out of something that that a real that a really talented black guy came up with and i don't and i don't want to be next to be to be remembered that way i mean the smart move the smart move so like if, if you create your own llc your own your own animation studio you know your own production company you will have more ownership you will have more ownership so the tv channel for example maybe they will own they will own the the show but you you get keep the rights to the characters and to the merchandise that way you can keep continue to make money it says a bigger stake can can mean a bigger commitment ireland so you gives gives is is creators 30 50 percent ownership of their properties but in return the creators have to have to remain involved throughout the development and production if the show gets that far this leads to genuine creator driven shows something like something that the likes of netflix and cartoon networks say they want okay it says crowdfunding can help creators retain okay so first of all before crowdfunding you know crowdfunding is, is very useful but it can also be difficult because it could be a very slow process because you have to wait for people to give money to your company you know you have to wait for people to give money to your company so it could actually take longer to get your work out there with crowdfunding most of the time it depends it says angel studios generates production budgets through through his crowdfunding platform angel funding the creator remains full ownership of their of their property donors get a reward and studio makes money by distributing the show again the creator is expected to remain closely involved with their project hmm it says sunny away ownership may work for young creators yeah so here basically what it's saying is that if you're young and you're just starting out if you are just starting out it's a good idea to sign away ownership uh you know to a company like nickelodeon or cartoon network or netflix it could be a good idea because you're just getting started you're in once you put your name out there when you put your name out there then your next project you can be more you can go you know you can aim to have more ownership of it you know like uh you make you make a crappy show <laughs> You make like a comedy show, a car comedy cartoon for Netflix, and then you get your name out there, and then after that, you make something even better. You know that'll be that'll become more popular, like Avatar: The Last Airbender, and then you can you can strive to have more ownership of it, so you can make money of the of the merchandise, which is honestly where most of the money is made after a show is released. So that is so. It's 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 kind of sad. It's really sad because a lot of people in Cartoon Network, like in in Nickelodeon, Disney, they make they make cartoon shows for these networks, but they don't own it, and they don't even get they don't give they don't even get money for the merchandise. Nothing of a such. So it's kind of sad to know that you know after all that hard work, like it's not yours. So let me know what you guys think uh let me know if you if you are producing anything and by the way by the way before before we finish this episode i want everybody to know about if you want to be a self-publisher whether it is writing a book a manga a comic book creating music or movies like there are options out there for you to be an independent creator so for example if you want to write novels if you want to publish comic books or manga there's kindle direct publishing kindle direct publishing i suggest you look into that and if you want to make music there's cd baby the cd baby you can be an independent artist an independent musician you publish your your work through cd baby and they, they do not own they don't they do not own any of your any of the rights to your music you keep all the rights to your music but cd baby handles the uh, the distribution so they'll put it on itunes amazon and worldwide you get the point and then of course if you want to be an independent creator, if you want to make movies, you know, if you want to make movies, there's always YouTube and there's always, uh, there's also, there's also indie film distri distributors. And this helps you keep most of the profit for yourself and ownership of your work. So, uh, if you're an independent creator like myself, I have published novels, you know, I wish you the best of luck and Godspeed.
What is up everybody? Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new future notifications. Check out the blog at andyrtv.com. Follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts or anything you want to say right below this video in the comments below. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. Godspeed everybody. Godspeed.